We're going to be looking at the world's best airplane food, starting back with what they served in the 1960s. Look at this. See, look, everyone was dressed with clay. Suits, ties. I mean, they're serving off of nice trays. They got real silverware. It's not plastic. That is a juicy looking lobster tail. Those salt and pepper shakers are meant for a queen. Look at the seats, the level of class. They're serving the wine in real glasses. They even have a full charcuterie board. Charcuterie board. Look at how big the trays of food they're getting are. You think this is first class or economy? Well, anyone who flew back then was a billionaire. Oh, uh, when you could lay down on a flight, you made it. This girl is sitting comfy in business class. She ain't born on a budget. She's just born. Her first meal looks like a better salad than I've gotten at most restaurants I've been to. Look at that, a steak? Is that a tenderloin? It looks sheer to perfection. They're serving a filet mignon on this plane. They got purple cauliflower on this flight. How do you do that? When a red cauliflower and a blue cauliflower meet and they love each other very much. The Birds and the Bees by Nicholas. Hey, I know this guy. I did take this flight. Did you pay for it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Sick invite. Caviar. I like the music you did. You can't eat hummus on an airplane. I mean, this has to be some of the coolest looking plane food I've seen. And I got the caviar twice. Oh, so this is how plain food is made. It's a massive, massive kitchen in there, it looks like. It looks like an evil factory with the way everyone is dressed. At least it makes me happy to see that there are real people making what looks to be real food. Semi-real. These are all NPCs. What are those? What are those? These look wow. way too complicated to be on an airplane. Just give me a turkey sandwich and call it a day. Ah, oh, they gotta roll up all the forks and knives before, too. Pack it, bag it, and eat it. Always ask for double. Scallops on an airplane. I'm a big fan of scallops. I like scallops. Scallops raw better than I like them cooked. I like them seared. You're a big raw guy, huh? You should be eating stanky blue cheese on a flight. Now your breath smells like stank. And then the whole plane. I mean, these look like some fresh vegetables. Picking chicken every time. Who picks veggies? Oh, you know, when you see the packaging all warped like that, you know it's not gonna be the best. Microwave, mushy, mouchard. The perky bar looks good. You take a brownie and a cookie. Match made in heaven, walking them down the aisle. That doesn't look appetizing. So that's ratatouille pasta? I didn't even know that existed. Ew. The pasta looks way better than this couscous dish. Yeah, it looks very corporate America and horrible. You should call them snackies. What are you, six? Ooh, a Danish. This looks like a pretty solid airplane breakfast. That's 90% sugar right there. I love a blueberry Danish. If this thing is hot. If it was steaming, that coffee was dark. Drinking Pepsi so you know they're not classy. That looks like really good ice cream or some sort of chocolate mousse. Yeah, this is definitely first class. This ain't for the civilians. Swedish meatballs, mashed potatoes, broccoli. What plane is this? It's like wearing Ikea. I'll pass on the bread. This guy just manhandling the butter like that? Emirates is supposed to be top-notch class. Emirates has to be my favorite airplane food I've ever had. Look at that pizza. Looks like it's from Italy. To me, the entire plane on Emirates feels like first class. I have no clay, so I'll never know. A little braised beef with rice. That sounds amazing. Those noodles look a little bland. Ah, she's mixing the ice cream and the coffee. Some poor people avocado. Avocado, you mean? Avocado. <laughs> no. They shouldn't be serving egg sandwiches on the airplane. The whole airplane's gonna smell bad. This looks like slop. I wanna feed this to a pig. It looks like there was a lot of turbulence when the flight attendants brought this one out. I get so scared with turbulence. I've never seen instant rice on a plane like this. But I don't know, eating spicy food on an airplane's dangerous move. You never know what's gonna happen. Oh, they got a little red, red one. I just don't like when they serve wine in a plastic cup. It's classless and I do it all the time though. Why is she having rice for dinner and breakfast? Different seasonings make for different experiences. All right, these people got a ton of money, first class. Champagne poppy, the love docky. My baby mama calls me when she's lonely. Look at that. Asparagus, now you're gonna stink up the entire bathroom. Shrimp, this kid's spoiled, you already know. They have duck on a plane, duck, duck, goose. Imagine playing duck, duck, goose on a plane. Did you not eat before your plane? This guy's a hammer. They have seared yellowtail. You must have a tummy ache after this. Maui, Maui, ice cream. All right, bro, settle down. Zero salads in his diet. <laughs> No, I can't. You're gonna tell me though, aren't you? You know, that pasta looks really good. I would eat that pasta right now. You have very low standards. Chicken's drier than the Sahara Desert. A spicy bean chili filled bun. That looks fun. No way. Hey, can you believe that the spicy chili filled <laughs> bun was the best thing on the airplane? I wouldn't pick neither of them. The world's longest flight, almost 20 hours in the air. It's a lot of air time. Jordan. They'd better have some good food. So that's because we have the best food and we don't want you to leave. So why would we give you good food on the airplane? Yeah, I have to be honest with you. For a 20 hour flight, this is no bueno. If I was taking a 20 hour flight and they gave me soggy canned fruit like that, I'd be pissed. I'd be asking to go through the drive-thru at McDonald's. I'm gonna have one in the air. Ramen. That ramen doesn't look 
look terrible. You know, ramen's a win anytime on the plane. It's hard to mess up. You know, that looks just like the sandwiches they served at the fire festival. You know, I always get ginger ale on the flight too. Really? I got vodka sodas. I go with ginger ale or tomato juice. What are you, 90? Tomato juice? I love it. Get a Bloody Mary. No. Do you like the wood utensils like that or no? No, nah, I don't like the wooden utensils. Give me the fork and knife. I'm not going to do nothing wrong. I love chips on a sandwich. I'm all about these plain food hacks. What the f is that? That looks like a lump of shit. Oh, look at that seared tuna. See, I don't trust raw seafood in general. On a plane, what happens if you get sick? You go to the bathroom. I don't go to bathrooms on the plane. You hold it? I hold it. This looks beautiful. The way that all this food is presented is some of the prettiest I've ever seen on an airplane. She looks very happy. Good for her, you know? Glad to see people doing well. You get unlimited ramen on this flight no matter what time it is. It's like IHOP with the pancakes. Traveling to Paris. You know, even through the screen, this feels like a fancy flight. Elegance at its finest. They even gave her the fancy headphones and everything. You think those are hers or they gave it to her? I think they gave it to her. I hate when the airplanes don't have TVs. It's 2023. What are we doing? What is that drink? That looks like they're having a seven course meal. Honestly, that looks like a school lunch on steroids. I'm sorry. What are you going to do? I already ordered a diet C. Oh. That never happens to me. So flight attendants don't like pouring the drinks that get extra fizzy because they take too long to pour. Too much fizz. Maybe in the back of the plane, they can shake out all the fizz and then that way they can mm -hmm. just pour it easier. There's nothing like a fresh DC on an airplane. Though. Is the ice on plane safe to eat? Yeah, I, I do. What do we got here? Chicken and potatoes? Eggs? Those eggs look horrible. You know, I will say that pastry in the back looks pretty good. And I love when they serve you warm nuts like this on a flight. Yeah, warm nuts are always good. Look at that bun. I'd butter it. Uh, she's watching Friends though. That's a horrible show. I'm not a big soup fan, but it's good on a flight. It doesn't do anything for me. They say it's healthy. That's nonsense. But on a flight, it's nice and warming and comforting. You know what else is warm and comforting? Blanket. Hey, they made the butter into a shape. Still causes high cholesterol. How have I never been on a flight that serves a huge steak like this? Yeah, upgrade to first class. We'll be a pilot. I wonder if the pilots get to eat this food during the flight. No, nah, they're sleeping. This guy's on a $50,000 private jet trip. So this actually looks worse than a lot of the first class and business class stuff we've already seen. It's such a small plane, they don't have a lot of kitchen to work with. Whereas on those big flights, you get the crazy massive kitchen with the huge prep kitchen back at the base. Probably means way better food a lot of the time. I think so. To be fair, that does look pretty fancy. Look at those bull's blood microgreens. Sure. Oh, is this gonna be one of those chocolate things where you pour something over it that's hot and it melts? Nah, he's just cracking it over the head. Why is he touching it with his fingers? That looks like horse manila. I think he just got ripped off.